After weeks of trolling, Wuting has finally revealed their Osu keypad called the Wuting Uwu, and in today's video, I'll tell you everything you need to know about it. The key thing that stands out, of course, is the Wuting functionality, such as rapid trigger, changeable actuation point, and everything that the Wuting keyboard has to offer. They recently had a Twitch stream talking about the Wuting Uwu. But I didn't watch the entire stream, so if you want to watch it, I'll leave the link to their VOD in the description. So there were many questions regarding the name and they said they had names such as Tap 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 or Triple Tap, Trio Tap, but instead used Wuting Ubu because of marketing reasons. And if you've been active on Twitter, the name is not liked in the community. Of course, there are people such as me which like the name, but <laughs> it's of course based on your taste. You might have also seen all three designs of the Wuting Uwu. In the stream, they said there will be two RGB versions and one without RGB. The Wuting Uwu, of course, has three lacquer switches with, of course, the same Wuting functionality and extra free keys like on the Momokai keypads, which will probably be mappable. The keypad in black is called the arcade version and the three extra keys actually glow in the dark. This hasn't been fully confirmed by booting themselves and they're just seeing what can work and what doesn't. It might be useless because, you know, it has RGB on it, but I guess it's still cool to see. We still don't have measurements of how big the keypad is, but I did say it's smaller than an iPhone, which isn't really that helpful. So what comes extra with the keypad, once you get it of course in August, are uh, four extra keycaps that you can use to swap out. And yes, the keycaps are actually uvu themed, but of course with the four extra keycaps you can just have normal regular white keycaps. Now, the most important question of course is how much does it cost? So they didn't tell us the pricing, but it will be revealed very soon once they upload the campaign video for the booting Uvu. The non-RGB version of course is the cheapest out of the three, and they said they made it affordable and what they thought is best for the Osu community. The others will be of course more expensive and more premium, such as the white pink version, which will even come with like a carrying case or some sort of case. But out of the three, the arcade version is the most premium one and will have everything you can imagine on a keypad. They might even use transparent keycaps for it, but probably also again optional because they still send out extra keycaps. Now some extra information about the Wuting Uvu. First, Tukaku will be one of the people that will be testing the Wuting Uvu prototype, so she might even make a video about it, so subscribe to her. Keep in mind I said prototype because they still don't have a final product. Second, they might give out samples for Kavoe's Osu event, short COE. So yeah, they will probably be at COE July this year, so for the lucky ones that are going to COE, you might get the chance to test the Wuting Uvu beforehand. And of course, if you want to stay up to date and want more information, please follow Wuting's Twitter. So that's everything there is about the Wuting Uvu, and I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please like the video and subscribe for more Osu content like this. Have a nice day.